What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back with another video. Now, before you do anything, go on and hit that like button, go on and hit that subscribe button for your boy, you know what I'm saying? And also turn on those post notifications so you can get notifications when I post. Now, as you can see by the thumbnail, this is my new mid range facilitator. Now, I know, like mid range facilitator, what is that? I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna put y'all on. This is a build that can play center against centers. It's like a small center in the for the park, basically. The reason I say it's a small center for the park is basically because you know everybody uses one of these big, tall, seven foot, six eleven centers. Hold up, green bean, you did before we do anything. But going back to the video, there, like I was saying though. But yeah, mostly everybody runs big seven foot three centers. All they do is set these five seven guard screens. You gotta try to fight over the screen and do all that. But no, with this lineup we run, we run a six five play shot or whatever two way three point play maker two way shot or whatever they wanna call his play. We run a two way sharpshooter at six six, and we also run my build at the six nine, which is a small forward. And the reason why she made them six nine, you'll see later in the video why six nine is the best way to go if you want a small center park build this build works you can clamp anybody i don't want to hear oh no he got brick wall yeah he get brick wall oh he get baby to get seven threes no we don't know if you know how to play the right defense on him you do not get baby i ain't got baby jet i'm telling you and he burst out and he can shoot the three just like that <laughs> green bean you did just like that so he can shoot he can really dunk a little bit he got the play making all that you need and he get gold bullet passes which is very useful in this game Every player should have gold bullet passer. That should be a required badge. If you want my team, it's required. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't got no other choice. But yeah, it gets gold bullet passer. It gets all the crazy defense and gold brick wall. And you can snag up against centers if you play the game right. You can use any build. This build is very useful. I ain't gonna lie. We was cooking people yesterday on this build. We won like maybe 20 games in a row on this build. Cause we went to the pro am and we went to the park. We was going crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. This build is very useful and dominant if you know how to use it right. Some people don't know how to use it right. Now, if you want to be out of the box and don't want to try everybody else, use this build. Try it out. I'm telling you, this build is like that. It can do everything. Like it has no limitation. It does everything well. Everything. Like people sleeping on this build. Now, if I would have used a metric system, this build probably could have been better. But I didn't. I chose for this build right here just to be. I don't know. I just chose. I ain't want to use a metric system on this build because I don't really know all the metric systems and all that you know i use it for my one build which is on my channel i use it for my good six seven build that's the only time i use a metric system for one of my builds i ain't really use it other than that because i don't really know all the heights and all that and i don't feel like looking all that up i ain't got time for all that i just need to know what my build is what he can do shoot do whatever i, I made him to do i mean that's it that's what he here for dude. but right now as you can see we beat these boys four to fifteen they are getting killed, and my boy Caleb throws an alley to Jake. Boys, to 17. I ain't gonna lie, they is getting baked right now. Like it's ridiculous. And he been getting blocked the whole game. Like they was just terrible. We had these boys in the box. I ain't gonna lie. There's some things on this game that just, woo. I'm telling you, boy, you just gotta watch the play. Cause some things shouldn't happen, but some things do. Like I don't understand why people be so disrespectful. Like it was one team we played last night in the pro am. That was just, I ain't even gonna get into all of it, but just know, just some things just shouldn't be done. Just know that. Just some things just shouldn't be done by people. Like, it's just wrong. If you know it's wrong, just don't even do it. Don't even do it, bro. I ain't even worth it. But anyway, back to the game. Let's score 17 to 7. Look, look, I'm telling you. Seven foot center, trying to baby me. I ain't go for that. Like, look, and my boy Jake pull up in the corner, green, bean, did, score 7 to 20. Now, you see, they trying their best. They trying to, they ain't even gonna try to come back. They really just playing right now. Now, look. He think he got me on the wall back, but I let him shoot that. I don't even care about that. That ain't my job to guard the three-point line on this build. This build cannot really guard the three, but if you play good enough defense, you can clamp him a little bit. Just a little bit now. Not a lot, a little bit. Now, you see our guard trying to do what he do. I don't know why he tried to shoot that, but, hey, I hit my boy Goat. He tries to ISO. He's stepping back, doing what he tries to do. Snatching back, don't know what he be doing sometimes like this. I don't know what he doing, but they end up fouling him. So right now the score is 10 to 20. I end up setting the screen. K 
Caleb pulls up. I don't know why he shot that. And I don't know why my player took the ball up like that. But, yeah, the max rebound on this build does go to gold rebounders. I wish it could go to Hall of Fame. I tried to get it to Hall of Fame, but the build wouldn't be as elite as this one is. Now, look, I'm telling you, bro, I'm clamping all that 7-3. Look, he tries to take it again up on me. Look, this build is not sweet, bro. And you see, we end up ending the game. The center tried twice to take it up on me. I keep telling you, this build is not sweet. You just not finna get baby by no 7-3. Yeah, that's not even gonna happen. But right now, we're going to the next gameplay. Now, as you can see, I brought this one in the pro -Am. Like I was telling you, we were going crazy in the park and the pro -Am. This is one of the pro -Am games. We was going, I was doing all right, you know. I wasn't going all the way crazy. I don't really go too crazy on this build because that ain't really my job. You got to know your role. When you play in the game, you got to know your role in the game. This build is a dominant build, but you don't have to do all that. It's just dominant for what it does at this position and this job. It's crazy. It has crazy. Now you see Caleb ends up pulling up, missing. It's all right, though, because, you know, we end up getting the steal right back. <laughs> you dig? He ends up hitting me the pass and go through. But, you know, man, it's all right, though. So you see us inbounding the ball. You know, we got perfect plays. You know, we got plays written up a little bit. Now, you see, I end up hitting Caleb back. He ends up trying to cook him. And I don't know what he's doing right now, but, you know, he hit goat. End up pulling up in his face. Green bean. You did. Now, the score is two to three. Like, come on. We told you, man, this build got defense. Look, I let him take the two. We usually just let them take the twos and we just guard the three heavy. Sometimes I can get the block off. Sometimes I can't on this build. But as this build is 99, I ain't going to lie. When this build hit 99, this build is going to be unstoppable. I don't know nothing that's touching this build once he hit 99. Because then he'll have all his badges. You not snagging over me. And I get boxed. And I'm sending, like, a block just like that. I got a chase down block last night, and I got a snag block last night. Like, this build is crazy. I'm telling you, man. Like I was saying, man, I'm telling you, this build is crazy. This is really the build you want to make if you want to be fast enough to guard the centers, and you can shoot better than them. It's a good chance you shoot better than the centers. And you can be fast, too. Like, come on. You're going to beat them down the court. Like I was talking about that gold bullet pass. Look at that. I just threw that all the way down. I just launched it just like that. And you get break started. And I can probably get it on Hall of Fame. If you change the badges, I can probably get it on Hall of Fame. Like, look at that. Even though he got that dunk off, we shouldn't have got it. It's all right, though. It's all right, though. But we still up, so I ain't even mad about that. Now, look. Look at the screens. The screens work perfectly. You see that end up here? My boy Gold in the corner. He ends up whitening. Score 6 to 14 right now. But you know, man, it's all right, though. But yeah, this build, this build does everything. Set screens. Play defense. Like, look, you're not stopping me. You're not you're not stopping this build. Especially Boyd. He build getting to the right hands. Like, look, look at the screen. He's not going nowhere. And look, it's it's all right though. Even though they got the rebound it's all right though. Because we still gonna make up for it. Even though we just let them take the layer. I told you, man. We don't really care about the lips. They can have as many twos as they want. As long as they don't get no three off, we're good. I'm not gonna lie. As long as they don't get no three off, but you see Caleb end up pulling up in his mid green bean. You did. He like that, man. Stop playing with him. He has his moments sometimes. He has his moments. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna be true. I'm gonna tell the truth. He has his moments, but most of the time he be cooking up, man. Now, look. You see how we're playing? We're not giving him no threes. Now, look. He tries to take that. Now, look. You see this bit? Look. He fast enough to get that for the interceptor, and that's on silver. That's on the silver. Now, you see me here. Look at the playmaker. End up throwing to my boy Goat. Green Bean. That bullet pass is kicking in again. I'm telling you. Look at it. That gold bullet pass just popped up. And he get the steals. I think his steals. I think this build maxes out silver. I think it maxes out on silver in the stuff. I wish I could have got it on gold. But the best I could have did was silver. I think it might go to gold. I'm not sure though. But if silver's the best, hey, silver working right now. You see how see how quick I just got there, right? So it worked. It worked. Just, just know that. It worked. I see Caleb ends up pulling up for a mid-range. I don't know why he did that. But you know, it's all right. Now look. I get the ball, I launch it to Caleb, now he is that boy go. He's going to pull up in that mid, green, bean, game, time. Just like that. Beat another team, 23 to 10. Now, if you want to know how to make this build, you're going to make this build a small forward. Don't care what hand I use to make my shooters left-handed when I do use them. He's going to be 6'9", 238 in weight, and I think I max out his wingspan. I don't know, though. Let's see. No, I made his wingspan shorter. Oh, no, I did max it out. He's seven five. Now, I'm used to make these players build. Just because, I don't know, I just like the way the players are built. But I don't know. Pause. Pause, though. Don't even try me like that, bro. 
pause but yeah now you see for the finishing i only gave him i think he gets like nine finishing i'm not really sure but let's see no he gets more than nine. he gets 15 finishing now i know i maxed out the three-pointer and i know i put like his mid-range i ain't touched the free throw i don't this build is just a park build this is not a wreck or none of that build i ain't make a record point build like this i should but i didn't now if you want to make a build like this for the record prom i recommend doing something else but you see the 19 playmaking he gets now he does get the 19 playmaking now after this i just maxed out all his physicals i maxed all that out the strength i ain't really touched the vertical or no i did i maxed out the vertical actually and then i put the stamina at 90. now this is the part that gets better and i look i maxed out the interior defense so you could get gold brick wall now i really couldn't finesse the clamps oh well he does get a gold interceptor see this build get gold interceptor see that's that demon time boy this build is on demon timing like look tell me these badges this bad like, bro you put the right badge layer on this play it's over he's versatile like, look at it 15 24 19 33 come on now come on now max wingspan and he get gold brick wall and he's faster than most centers in the park you're gonna be a over play i'm telling you man this build is gonna be overpowered now you see for the takeovers i don't really care what the takeovers are i ain't really give or care about it really i just chose to because it really don't matter to me even though it does matter it really don't but you see the build comes out to the title name as a mid-range facilitator now they compare this player to lamar Odom and jason tatum so you made this build you have a jason tatum type build now that's really it for the gameplay you know don't forget to like comment subscribe if you new share the video and i'm out peace